Hi everyone. Right, I'm going to answer a couple of things here. Uh, Janet Stokes, you wanted to know about the little clasp I do on the front of my um, boxes. Well, I'm going to show you that now. First of all, I'm just going to show you this. Do you remember this I bought at the car boot the other day? Made from material. It, well, it's a um, uh, chipboard box. And then it's got... Oops! <laughs> it's alive! And then it's got uh, material. It's covered in material. Right, well, all I've done is I'm painting it. Yes, you can paint material. It's no different to painting canvas. So I'm doing that, and I'm doing it in this um, eco-friendly. Try and get these. They are very, very good. They're the great paints, fabulous colours. Um, they're about two pound, two pound fifty, depending on where you get them from. This colour is the melon, and um, they are very, very good. Uh, and it's uh, the environment, of course. Anyway. Um, so I am painting that. I've just put the first coat on the top, which I'm going to do again and go over and over it until it's the colour I want it. That colour. Melon. Right, Janet. Uh, you wanted me to show you how to do the clasp. Right, this is what you do. You take a piece of wire, and it has to be one that's fairly stiff, but flexible, if you know what I mean. So, you know, it'll stay in shape when you uh, bend it. Okay. Uh, take your uh, pliers. Just let me get mine. Okay, take your pliers. Uh, you're going to need, depending on what size clasp you're doing, I'm going to put my handle thing back on because it keeps falling off. Depending on the size of the handle, um, normally about three inches. And three inches gives it a good length. Take your small nose tip, round tipped pliers, pincers, whatever you want to call them. And like I said, depending on the size of the hole that you want, I generally do them at, near the end, like that. So I'm just going to show you this. And do that. Just bend your wire into a V. And then bring one of them towards you and the other one push away from you. Okay? Until um, it's straight. See that? That's all you need. Probably not as straight as I want it, actually. You can flatten it out with your fingers. Like that. And basically, that's all you need. But you need a really good inch, depending on what size box you've got, a really good inch um, either side of the loop that you've made. See? Made that loop. Uh, and then what you do is you glue that. Just say this was the box, right? You glue that onto the box like that. It will stand up right when you've got it on. Mine's because I've bent the wire. So you, you need it as flat as possible and then you glue it onto your box and then make it that you're putting your trims over that for extra security. And that's how you do it, Janet. Okay? And you have your little loop. And of course, if you wanted a bigger loop, then you just move the wire further up the pliers, bend it over, cross them at the back like that. And these will go to waste. I will use these. Um, you know, and you can pinch them together. So that they are like that. And again, that just sits nicely on your box like that. So I hope that helps you, Janet. Uh, if you get stuck, come back. But that should be just fine for you. Now, what else was I going to say? There's a couple of things. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody's saying about... Um, who was it? Uh, I'm not quite sure how to say your name. Is it Ferine? Ferine. P-H... E R I N E one. Uh, I don't know your name. Sorry, darling, but please let me know who you are. And um, your, she says, Fiona. When you say things like it's on my homepage or private message me or email me, how do we do this? Uh, or how do us plebs find things? These things. I've been trying to email you for ages. Found an AOL address on an Etsy, I think, but it's not sure. It's not mine. I don't have an AOL AOL address, so it's not mine. Uh, actually, want to send me a message? Uh, use my email address, which is fiona.freestylecrafts at gmail.com. I'll write that down so that you can actually see it because not many get it just right. So it's fiona.freestyle, and it's crafts straight after that. I've no space to put it on at gmail.com um, that's my email address I don't mind showing it you know lots of people have them uh, and you can send me your message there okay so you can stop the video and find that 
And that's, uh, you know, um, if you're going to send anything nasty, don't bother, because I won't open it. Hmm, okay? I don't open junk mail. Hmm. So there you go. Uh, you get deleted straight away. So anything, you know, if you want to make, um, send a message to me or anything, or contact me, just do it there. Fiona.freestylecrafts, with an S, at gmail.com. And I will pick up any of your messages there. Um, I don't always answer straight away, by the way. I have to tell you, because I am very, very busy. I'm constantly working uh, as you know, do tutorials, have my grandchildren, whatever. I answer when I can. And I usually s slot my uh, comments and messages that I reply back to um, here, there and everywhere. So please, if I haven't answered in a couple of days, don't worry. I will get round to it at some point. If not, email me again um, and I'll probably pick up that one. Just that I do lose an awful lot of emails as well. Don't know how. I do. But there you go. So what I'm going to do now is get back to doing this box. I've already done the top coat on that one. And I'm also going to do the base of this one exactly the same. Not bothered so much about the braid. Because the braid's going to be a different colour anyway. I'm not wasting it. It's going to stay on as it is. Okay. Don't want to waste it at all. But you just paint over the material like that. I mean, of course, it'll probably need two or three coats. But I'm not fussed about that because uh, that'll be more interesting. Like that. Like I say, I'm not worried about the braiding at all. And I've got my granddaughters coming up tomorrow. They may be coming up this afternoon. They want to craft. so uh, And they're going to do their own videos. I think they're making boxes today. Or bags, like I've done this morning. They're going to do their own. Their way. <laughs> So, uh, nice videos coming from them. It's been fun having them uh, record their own show. Um, um, or tutorial, should I say. And uh, they're enjoying it a lot. So I'm really chuffed about that. But like I say, we just paint on this gorgeous melon colour. Well, I don't know where they get melon, actually, because I always thought a melon was yellow or a green. But there you go. They've called this melon. Maybe the person who called it, named it, didn't actually know what a melon looked like. <laughs> or oh, could be the inside of the melons, couldn't it? Because the skins are yellow or green, and the insides are red or yellow. <laughs> and you do get some with an orange tint, don't you? So that's that. And straight away, I'm just going to go back in and go over this again. Like that. And then I will go around the edges again as well. <coughs> but that's it. I'll come back and uh, show you what this is going to be like when I've finished it. So until then, uh, I'll speak to you soon. And bye-bye for now.